The other day, a government politician described parts of the north of England as desolate and unloved. Suitable, he said, for fracking. Well, John and Doreen have lived here for 40 years and loved their home very much. Far from being desolate, it's a thriving farming area. But now there's a hole ready for a fracking rig in the field just over the road. The value of their house has gone through the floor. It's mortifying, really. Uh, we, get, we haven't got the time to start again doing what we're doing here now. Um, so, where do we go? It's, like I said before, it's fight or flight. So we've decided to fight. The width of Northern England from coast to coast could be fracked. The question is, who benefits? If you think that people in pretty little villages like this are likely to get rich because of shale gas being discovered under their houses, well, you'd be wrong because under British law, the mineral rights belong to the Crown. And if property prices are already starting to fall sharply in places where fracking is planned, it's hardly likely that people are going to be persuaded by the prospects of cheaper gas in 10 or 15 years time. Some farmers have taken money from the drilling firms for land or for seismic monitors like this. But not Colin Bradley. He spread his risk by adding a fishery and campsite to his 400 acres of potato fields. He's not against fracking in principle, but he can't get anyone to explain how he'd be compensated if everything he's worked for was ruined by water contamination from drilling. But they could blight a complete area here, and this, is, this, is, this has got to be taken from the government. There's got to be some insurance in place. I tried to insure against a mortgage, against fracking, and I can't get insured for it. So what alarms people the most is the lack of an explanation for the consequences of the industrialisation of the countryside. For years, waste from a nuclear reprocessing plant has been buried in these fields. Now there's a plan to put a drilling rig almost on top of it. What's likely to happen if they cause an earthquake here, that this close to a nuclear processing plant? And we know that there's another major fault in this area. So, yeah, it's hugely concerning. So resistance is growing and national elections are less than two years away. If politicians are deaf to the complaints now, they'll have to start to listen soon. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Northern England.